Hey guys, welcome to Healthy with Heartland. You're cooking with Chef Arden. Hi, welcome back to Healthy with Heartland. I'm your host, Chef Arden. Today we're going to be looking into more advanced techniques. We've got our all-natural Creekstone short ribs. We're going to be doing a very simple braising technique. So what is braising? Typically when you find tougher cuts of meat, things like your chuck or like your roast, I'm sure everyone's mother or grandmother at some point made a nice beef stew. So essentially with very tough pieces of meat, you get a very nice sear on them and then you usually cover them with a little bit of liquid, either that being stock, wine, or even water or beer. So to get started, we're going to remove this Creekstone short rib from the package and then we're going to start seasoning. To get started cutting this open, once again, always use your kitchen shears. We are using the Carrico shears. Get that started to cut open. So step one to approaching your short ribs. So you're gonna notice that they have bones. This is literally just cut off a section of the ribs. There's spaces of meat in between. So what we're gonna be doing is uh, portioning them. To get started with that, you wanna have a knife, one that you're very comfortable with controlling. I suggest the eight inch chef knife. Once again, we are still using Carico products. And what you wanna do is just line this up and you want to find that space in between the ribs. It's not like when we were breaking apart the chicken and we had to feel for the knuckle. It is pretty obvious where the space in between are. As far as cutting, use your knuckles and the curled finger rule and you just want to go really nice and easy down the center of the rib. So you have three nice, just beautiful portions. Okay, so now we have portioned the ribs. It is time to season. Before we start with that, we wanna make sure that your pan, if it's not already, is on a medium to medium high heat. The important thing of braising, and this is will be universal for any time you use this technique, is that sear that you get when you initially start cooking. What that's gonna do is just lock in all that amazing flavor. So while it's slowly cooking in all of the liquid that you're putting it in, we're gonna be using a red wine today. All of that just amazing flavor is gonna stay in and you're also gonna get this just ungodly pan sauce. We're gonna get your pan hot and then we're gonna season high with just a little bit of salt and pepper. So we're gonna be using a real salt. This is my personal favorite and we're just gonna season very high. We wanna make sure that we're getting an even cover. We don't have to go too heavy. It's not like searing a steak this time. That flavor is going to caramelize and slowly cook while we are braising it. So we don't want to overload it with some of the salt. Just a few cracks of the black pepper on each one. And then use the other side to just dab up. So now we're ready to start searing. Now we're getting ready to sear this. Preheat your oven to 275 degrees. And all we're gonna do is just... We're gonna let that go. Turn your heat up just a little bit. Usually about 45 seconds to a minute on each side. Be ready to add some garlic to it. What this is gonna do is just caramelize but help add just a really nice depth of flavor. Just that amazing, just brown color. This is the sear that we're looking for. So we're gonna give that just about another 30 to 45 seconds before we add our wine. So we've given the short ribs a chance to sear on the other side because we're gonna add some of the other flavorings to that. So our garlic, all we did was just cut this bulb in half. This is gonna add flavor. So we wanna just like add that just on top. So now what we're gonna be using is red wine for the braising. Okay, so now we've got it just about halfway up on the short ribs. Now we don't wanna rush this step. This next part is important. We wanna let the wine come to a boil. All right, so now it's come to a boil. We have our lid on top of this, oven preheated to 275. Uh, make sure you're using oven mitts or towels or something, guys. The pan is gonna be extremely hot, so will the oven, so please be careful. Pick it up from the sides. Make sure you've got a good grip. Just place it right into the oven. Once we have it in the oven, we're gonna leave it in there at 275 for roughly two and a half hours at a minimum. We'll check it then to see how much of the wine actually has reduced. Okay, 
so now these are out of the oven. We can see that we have reduced the wine by about 80 to 90%, so it's nice and thick. Now, carefully remove the short ribs. But once we remove all the short ribs from the pan, what we're gonna do is continue to reduce the wine uh, just a little bit further so it's nice and thick. So to finish the sauce, we've got a little bit more reducing to do left high heat. Now the garlic, need we can literally just use the tongs and just squeeze all the garlic bulbs out. I'm just gonna move this around until it just thickens up. We're gonna take whatever we have left and uh, reduce that gigantically all the way down to a very thick sauce. So what we have here is a red wine braised short rib for two and a half hours at 275. It just completely falls off the bone and it's finished with just an awesome pan sauce from the residuals of the short ribs and the red wine.